Time now to check in with Chef Judy Gallagher. She joins us live today at Madison City Grill in downtown Sarasota. Great spot to hang out, Judy. You've got it, Scott, and especially this weekend because tonight is the big boat parade. They're setting up all around us stages and beer trucks and everything. And Madison's City Grill is expanding for tonight. They've rented extra tables. So you can have the best of all possible worlds. You can sit under their outdoor air conditioning. That's our cool breeze we're getting and the fans. Or you can sit outside in the patio and the sun will be going down. But all weekend long, they're going to be launching their new menu. Great place to come for cocktails, lunch or dinner, kind of happy hour in between. But stay with us throughout the hour. We're going to go through all the menu items. And I'm really thrilled because my friend Chef Paul is here to join us for today. So stay with us as we celebrate July 4th weekend right here at Madison City Grill, downtown Main Street, Sarasota. Hey there, well it's a perfect weekend to hang out here at Madison City Grill, so much going on. And there's technically not a parade, but there's a, a great visual going on at a block party. Right, right, Judy, they, uh, you know, they've done the parade for years and years, and it's a really a huge impact to downtown. The road, Main Street gets closed from 301 all the way down to the Bayfront. Sure. And, it, and it really is a, a big undertaking, and it's, it's a lot of cost and expense in doing that. And at the end of the day, this whole weekend raises a lot of money for these children's charities. So this year they decided what to do was just do a block party. So Lemon Avenue is closed from State Tr Street to First Street, and then Main Street from Orange to Five Points. Much, Perfect. Yeah, much less of an impact. Now all the boats are going to be down here. They're all going to be on display, which might be better. A parade they're going by with the boats all parked there to give people a time to really get up close and take a look at these incredible machines and see how they work. So it could be kind of fun. I think it fun. sounds even yeah. better. And I love the idea of a block party for July 4th because that's how I grew up in Connecticut and, you know, New England. You had the whole block party for all the holidays, and I know you did too in upstate New York. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It should be a lot of fun. There's live bands out in the street and all kinds of vendors all kinds of activities is going to really be a very exciting evening down here. What can we expect from Madison City Grill real quick? Um, we are going to be jam-packed. We're right in the middle of all this, uh, this, this chaos and craziness and fun. Um, so we're just running our full regular menu. Um, we did some additional seating out in front of the restaurant to, uh, to give a little extra space for some overflow. And uh, just, you know, what we normally do, great food, great music. We have a live band playing as well. Shift Change is playing in-house. So they'll kind of alternate between the band and the street when our band's playing. So. Uh, it, uh, that we'll be we'll be partying on into the evening. It'll I was going to say, man, uh, you'll be partying a lot longer than I can stay awake. Paul, it sounds so much fun, and this really is family friendly, so everybody knows, right? Very much so. Very family friendly, and for a wonderful family organization. Indeed, we have to support these charities, especially what's going on. So stay with me and Paul Madison because we're coming back in a few minutes. We're going to talk about this great food that's on the table, lunch, dinner, happy hour, and of course, a few cocktails. We'll be back in a few minutes from Madison City Grill. Scott, it's a perfect way to kick off summer, the big 4th of July weekend, and of course the boats. It wouldn't be a real party without being at Madison City Grill and Paul Madison talking about his food. So Paul, let's go right into it, starting with your burger. All right, well, you know, a, a, a burger's a burger, but it's gotta be a great burger. We yep. use Diamond Ranch, antibiotic free, hormone free, really great quality beef. Um, so there's our, our, our classic killer burger. Um, shrimp kaboom, fun little appetizer. It's got a little spice to it, but a little slaw underneath it. Kind of, Love kind of it. a good balance. Um, out front, we got two of our slider choices. Those are on the happy hour menu. Uh, one of them is pulled pork, also from Diamond Ranch, and then another miniature version of our burger uh, with a little provolone and uh, roasted red onion. Uh, then we go over to the rack of lamb. Little little chimichurri, little risotto underneath with all kinds of outlaws and mushrooms. Chimichurri for the summer is mm. just such a great pow of flavor. Yeah, it's 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 you know it's it's refreshing at the same time that it's that it's got some spice and some exactly. some excitement to it. You know, a little liminess, kind of fresh. Um, up here to the salad. Um, this is a, a strawberry chicken salad. This is new to the menu as well. And um, so uh, grilled roasted chicken that's out of Joyce Farms. Great free range chickens. Again, antibiotic free, hormone free. All of our proteins have gone that way. Um, and then fresh strawberries. We're still seeing some good strawberries happening now. Um, some gorgonzola cheese. So you get a little punch of the blue cheese. Gives it a nice little balance. Love it. Um, over into the center is uh, our Bianco pizza. We do some great pizzas out of the brick oven. Uh, this one is one of my favorites. Uh, artichoke hearts, basil pesto, super thin crust, 
goat cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. And, and then back up here is salmon gremolata. This is an entree on our dinner menu again. Um, a little risotto underneath. The gremolata is a little uh, a little lemon, a little anchovy, a little, spice, a little fresh herbs. Um, and a little bit of garlic, and it just makes a nice little crust over there. And if you're afraid of anchovies, don't be, because it just gives it a, you know, a little slight pungent saltiness. You don't get a strong flavor out of it. Just it all. elevates the flavor, really right? Does, really now, Paul, does. we only have a, a second, but you're really focused on the all natural. Yes. And let's just touch on that just for a quick moment, how it reflects in both your restaurants. Well, you know, it's amazing. The flavor is it really shows in the flavors of what, what's coming out. Um, but at the same time, the way animals are raised um, has has changed. And this is back to the old traditional method of small family farmers. Yep. Um, Nyman Ranch is, the, is certainly the leader, and they're they're not one company, but they're a conglomerate of 720 independent family farmers. And, and we're, that's where all those we're going to see from. a lot more coming from Paul Madison and a lot of these great local chefs. So look on their menus to see if they're into the family farming, and and it is so much better for you. But don't go anywhere because we still have dessert coming up, oh, Paul. Oh yeah. Can we talk about them? Here we go. We have Eric and Paul Madison here to describe the desserts. Can you guys tell me what's on the menu? Well, first we have a cheesecake, Ooh. and then we have tiramisu, a chocolate flourless torp, a little espresso, and just a killer homemade key lime pie. And you also have some nice dessert martinis. You know, sometimes that's dessert. Sometimes yeah, Sometimes that's dessert. I see you're rocking a little uh, mojito over there. And then well, right... it's summer yeah, and it's yeah. July 4th weekend, Paul. Yeah, and then right next to that, we got a chocolate martini and over here an espresso martini. And um, this little raspberry uh, champagne kind of mimosa deal is... It's, a twist on a mimosa, I guess. And it's good it. all day long. Like yeah. You can have it in the morning, the afternoon, the evening, later at evening. Eric, which dessert do you want today? You want the cherries. Here you go. You get the cherries. All That's right. for you. Great job. So make sure when you're coming out, not just this holiday weekend, but anytime, stop by Madison City Grill. They have plenty of fans going. They have the outdoor air conditionings, and they have really good maraschino cherries for the young set, okay? <laughs> Trust us. From Eric Madison and Paul Madison, thank, thank you so much, Paul. Thanks, Judy. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you all this weekend. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Make it a tasteful one.